Welcome guys into a new video to Express. Let's say that you wanted to set up a Google Workspace domain. It's gonna be really easy. The very first thing you wanted to do is to get started with the actual Google Workspace and go directly into the home section. So when you have access to Google uh, Workspace domain, or let's say this is not the first time, you can always go into adding a domain. So I'm gonna open a new tab so I can show you how it actually looks when you just get started here for the very first time. So I'm gonna go for Google Workspace. I'm gonna choose this option and I'm gonna go directly into start now. So you can type your business name. In this case, it's gonna be Techpress, the number of employees, including yourself, the region you're currently living, your first, your start name, and the current email address that you do have. Lastly here, what you want to do is to use with an actual Gmail address. After you sign into your Gmail account, it's gonna be asking you to get started uh, totally today with a new domain or to use a current domain. In this case, we wanted to use a new domain. So now I'm gonna close this bar so we can all get started now where we're actually currently at. So here let's type into I need an actual domain and type the domain you wanted to purchase. So there's a lot that you can just choose. So I can choose one of them. And here, as you can see, we'll use this domain to set up the Google Workspace. You'll be able to purchase after creating your Google Workspace account and hit into next. Now what you want to do is to type your business information in order to continue. Lastly, it's gonna be asking you to create an actual username. In this case, I'm gonna go for administrator and here it's gonna be something really easy for the passcode. After you have successfully done that, what you want to do is to sell, tell that you are not a robot and follow the prompts in order to verify yourself. After you have successfully done this, then what you wanted to do is to focus into agreed terms of the service. Lastly, it's going to be asking you to make the payment, of course, for your new domain. After you make the verification of that, and after you have ended, uh, let's say, the amount that you needed to pay, you might be able to have now your actual domain. Now it's time to verify the ownership of your domain. When you make the verification of the domain, it's going to be asking you to get started and adding in a specific txt file. Usually it's the type of txt, the host name should be at, and the data is going to be provided of course by them. So what I wanted to do is to go into the provider, in this case Google, go into your domain list and go into add the new record. In this case it would be a txt record, uh, the host should be at, and here make the verification that was provided to you and go for save. After you make the saved section, here should be appearing the actual section inside your administrator console and you are now inside the actual Google workspace. So here what you can do is to set up email accounts. With your domain verified and DNS setting configured, you can now set up email configurations for your organization. You can log in into the workspace administrator console as we are inside here, look out for different users and hit now into manage or into add different users. I am available to add up to 10 licenses uh, with the actual current plan that I do have. Exploring additional features, once your email account has been set up, you can save your time to explore additional features offered by the Google Workspace. So for example, there's the Google Drive file stores and collaboration, there's the Google Calendar for scheduling, there's the Google Meet for video conferencing, those tools are simply integrated making it easy to work together. So they even have directly here the discover section, where you can discover so much more directly into the Google Workspace and what can you do when you now have access to the actual Google Workspace using the domain that you have now purchased directly here into Google. And of course, you have the actual Gmail, which is something that's gonna be really great. You can add your own logo into the upper side and of course, add your stuff directly here into the Gmail. And well guys, there is it. You have successfully set up your domain with Google Workspace and powering your organization with this powerful tools uh, to organize your actual collaboration and communication. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more business productivity tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, with all of that being said, we can see you next time in TechPress. See you soon.